Hey guys! So this is already the completed look for my 4th of July big bam eyeshadow red, white, and blue patriotic theme for my um, makeup that I'm going to do this year and I thought I would share with all of you. So if you like this look and you'd like it for yourself, go ahead and keep on watching and if you like, please hit that little thumbs up down there and subscribe and hope you enjoy this. Bye! The products you use are any foundation or any BB creams, an eyebrow pencil, an eyebrow gel, any eyeshadow palette as long as it has red, white, and blue, your favorite mascara, eyeliner, and eyelash curler, cheek flush, and lip gloss. What you're going to do first is get your hair out of your way. You can grab a bow or some bobby pins or headband, whatever suits you best. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the crown of my hair and just pull it out of the way. It doesn't have to look perfect, it's just for the purpose of putting on makeup without getting your hair in your face. Don't mind my dog in the back, he loves to roam around during my videos and he's just a mommy's boy. Once you have that done, I already have my BB cream on and my eyebrows on. So you're gonna move on to your palette. Your palette. I'm using BH Hollywood because it has a uh, red, white, and blue in one palette. And you're gonna use the top left red and the bottom blue that's kind of sparkly and of course the white next to the red. Next you're gonna use the white and you're gonna put it in your inner corner eye and you're going to put that all the way to the under brow. And go ahead and make sure you get it nice and white because it needs to stand out and contrast well next to the blue and the red. So make sure you get it really, really white. And after you finish up your white, go ahead and grab the red from the palette. If it helps you out, you can squeeze the brush and make it really tight so it helps you create that outer V. I noticed when I use fluffy brushes, I cannot seem to get that darn V correctly, so squeezing it helps a lot. I think I just need to get new eyebrow brushes anyway. But if you have a similar brush to mine, that really tends to help. Go ahead and dab it very slow, kind of like you're tracing it before you start blending it out. Don't worry if you go too red, you can always wipe it off with the tissue later. Or you can blend it completely out so that way it's not as deep red as when you first put it on. So right there, it's kind of deeper red than compared to my right eye, but I just blend that out and make it a little less red later on. And you want to go ahead and continue until you match both sides evenly or until you're happy with what you got. So like I said earlier, you can grab a tissue or a q-tip and wipe off the excess eyeshadow, but scratch that. Instead of wiping, dab it off so that way it doesn't mess up the rest of your eyeshadow. Once you're done with that, go ahead and grab your blue eyeshadow and work that in the outer corner of your eye, trying to create a small V within the red V that you created. I hope that makes sense. So you want to fill in between the red and your eyelid or your eyelash line. 
but do not work it all the way into your inner corner. You want to leave the white so that way you can have all three colors represented well. You can put a deeper blue on the outer corners than what I have or less whatever suits you best. And just go ahead and keep blending that in so there are no harsh, harsh lines. To me, this is a festive look, so I'm not trying to make it perfect. With this look, I didn't have to have put eyeliner on my bottom lid because I got really lucky and the dust from the eyeshadow went on the bottom of my eyelid so it was white on the inner corner and blue on the outer corner so you guys can use a pencil and create a you know eyeline the bottom of your lid and for me I'm just gonna clean it off next grab your eyelash curler and your eyeliner I like to curl my lashes first I don't know I'm just weird Next, use your liner and create a long wing and just go ahead and wing that out. I usually do the bottom wing. Do you guys ever have watery eyes when you use liquid eyeliner? Every time I use liquid eyeliner, it makes my eyes super, super watery and then it burns, but I don't know why that happens. It's just very irritating. Anyways, go ahead and wing out the eyeliner and then connect it back to the rest of the lid. And then continuing um, the eyeliner, just go ahead and connect that all the way to the inner corner. Sorry if you cannot see, I didn't know that my mirror was that much in the way. And go ahead and let that dry so that way when you put on your mascara, it doesn't smudge your eyelid. And go ahead and grab your mascara and go ahead and put that all over your lashes. Right now would be the time to put on fake eyelashes, but I don't like to use fake eyelashes. I was blessed and have really long lashes, so I don't want to put any glue or anything near them. So if you want the option, you know, you can put fake lashes, but I'm going to leave mine the way it is. Next you go ahead and add some blush. I'm going to put very light blush because the focal point of this look is my eyes. So I'm just going to have a very, very light blush and bring that up to the temples. Same goes with the lip gloss. I picked a nude kind of pinkish lip gloss because like I said, I want my eyes to bring me attention and I don't want color all over my face. I'm not trying to look like a clown. It is July, not Halloween. And go ahead and add your favorite lip gloss, lipstick, lip liner, whatever the heck you want to use. Just go ahead and grab it and put it on. Like I said, I picked a very nude because I felt like it would go with this look best. Now go ahead and take off your bow, hair tie, clips, headband, whatever you use. Go ahead and take that down and style your hair as usual. I didn't do anything fancy for this look just because I was more focused on my makeup instead of my hair. And that's if you want to straighten part it. Another look is if you just want to clip it up like a little poufant, I think that's what they're called. And that's another style that you can do with this look. But I want to say thank you to all the servicemen and servicewomen who are serving our country. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy 4th!